Sasangs and their obsessive behavior can get pretty dangerous. From girls dressing up as boys to watching them sleep, some even going as far as getting plastic surgery. And what else are they capable of doing? If you want to know more, be sure to continue watching. Getting plastic surgery. Sasangs are a living nightmare for every idol. Privacy and common sense aren't in their vocabulary, and even though for them it's just harmless fun, it can get pretty creepy and dangerous for idols and people around them. It's no secret that they follow idols around and invade their privacy, but one of them took it to another level and it will blow your mind. After one Sasang was ignored by Sakuma Ryoto and Hashimoto Ryo of the Japanese group Hi Hi Jets, she told the world it was because she was not pretty enough for them. Every other person would probably shed a tear or two after being told they're not pretty, but not her. She went and got plastic surgery so she could live up to their standards and they would notice her. As crazy as it sounds, her plan worked and she became friends with them. Of course, the world isn't a fairy tale and she did not get her happy ending. After finding out who she really was, Sakuma dumped her and as revenge, she leaked pictures of them as underage idols smoking and drinking. As if that wasn't enough, she also shared a picture of them in bed together. Though there's nothing spicy to see in those photos. Even though this story feels more like taken from a teen drama movie, it is real life. Dressed up as boys. While this is not as crazy as paying doctors to change your entire face, it's still pretty creepy. Being one of the most popular K-pop groups, EXO's members had their fair share of uncomfortable encounters as well. With a group as popular as them, it's no surprise they have some fans willing to do anything just to get close to them. Some of them don't even mind dressing up as the opposite gender just so they can take a peek at their favorite singers. This happened all the way back in 2013. It was only two years after they debuted, and yet they already had some crazy fans. In order to get to the bathroom EXO we're using, they went as far as shaving their heads so they could pass off as boys. Pair it with some man clothes and you've got a perfect looking guy. Their plan worked and they did get into the bathroom. Fortunately, nothing too bad happened. After this incident, the members had to take turns guarding the bathroom so nothing similar would happen ever again. Waiting until they're asleep. Although Sasangs mostly only bother idols outside of their house, there are times where they completely crossed the line and broke in. With their connections, I guess not even security outside the apartment can stop them. JYJ's Jae Dung could tell a story or two about that. In 2019, while he was on the Japanese TV show Gyoretsu no Dekiru Horitsu Sadanjo, he revealed, Many fans broke into my bedroom in the middle of the night while I was asleep. I found them on top of me, doing things that I cannot say in detail on TV. After sharing this, everyone in the room was shocked, and I believe everyone's reaction is the same after hearing this. I don't even want to think about what they did, knowing what some of them are capable of. Later, he added that it happened on more than one occasion. Of course, they couldn't help themselves and took some of his belongings as well. Scary, right? But that wasn't all. During his career, his encounters with Sasings have gotten worse and worse. One time when he decided to go to a sauna in his free time, one of them followed him in there. Bear in mind that those saunas are usually divided for men and women. As he was sleeping in one of the rooms, a Sasang sneaked up on him and took a picture of him sleeping. Later, she uploaded the picture on the internet saying she apparently even kissed him. Even though I know how crazy these people are, I just hope the last part was a lie. Yelling and knocking. When you're an idol, you have to come to terms with the fact that you lose all of your privacy and there will be people bothering you wherever you go. Though it's safe to say that they never signed up for people coming into their houses all the time. Some idols had enough and asked them to stop bothering them. You can probably guess what happened. Nothing. They don't care about the consequences. The only thing they want is for idols to notice them, even if it's not right. On June 6th, 2020, NCT's Hei Chan did a birthday live stream where he shared how he saw fans after a long time and was happy because of that. However, not long after, he got more serious and shared his concerns about Sasangs who kept bothering him and his group members by coming to their dorm and said, We just want to be able to rest in our dorm or do things like hang out and eat together. It's hard for us when there are people who make us uncomfortable like that. Even after calling them out, they didn't stop. Actually, it had quite the opposite effect. As revenge, they posted pictures of a drunk guy stumbling out of the car and claimed it was Heitan. Why would they do that? Well, I guess they were trying to send a message so idols would know Sasangs are not the ones to mess with. It was neither confirmed nor denied if it was him in the photos, so we can only ponder about who it really was. Another SM Entertainment group had similar problems. Back in December of 2019, EXO's Kai did an Instagram live stream where he shared with all the people watching that there were some Sasangs outside their dorm. As this was not the first time it happened, he had enough and directly asked them to leave otherwise he would call the police, as he should. Coming to hotels. Idols are on the go all the time. From going on world tours to just having schedules away from home, they spend the majority of time in hotels. For the time being, hotels become their homes and all they want is some peace and quiet. However, in most cases, that's not happening. It's kind of common for fans to find out where they're staying, so they purposefully book to stay at the place as well. Sasangs have connections that you and I could only dream of, and they use them for their sick agendas. As they're usually also rich, nothing is ever out of their reach. It's dangerous enough for people to find out which hotels idols are staying at. However, finding out the exact room could cause some serious trouble. 
In 2019, when Seventeen were in Japan on a tour, Wu Ji saw Sang snuck into the hotel and on a door handle, she left him a bag with perfume and a letter. She then uploaded a picture of it on her social media and wrote, I can't give this to him at the box at the venue, so I put it in front of his room. I chose a fragrance that is close to what Wu Ji likes. Please use it. I attached a letter too. Idols getting gifts from fans is pretty common, though usually it's on fan signs. Although I get that you want idols to receive your gift, sneaking up to a place where they're staying at is not it. It also makes me question how good their security really is if they let those girls get so close to the idols. Installing hidden cameras. It seems like when idols are away from their home, it's easier to get to them. In 2015, EXO had an overseas schedule and were staying at a hotel. On one of the days of their stay, Suho went to the hotel gym and while he was working out, he spotted a hidden camera that was previously installed there by a sasang. As soon as he noticed it, he called over the security and told them about it. Even though we are all simping for these boys pretty hard and a picture of them working out would be a blessing for our eyes, getting it without their knowledge is nothing anyone should do. This was, however, not a one-time thing. Back when Luhan was still a member of EXO, one fan gifted him a teddy bear. What a cute gift, right? Well, it would be if only the fan hadn't put a hidden camera in its eye. Talk about creepy. Because of that, she managed to take a peek inside the hotel room and shared a picture of him getting his makeup done. It's scary to think how smart Sasangs are. They always find new ways to make idols' lives a nightmare. Making friends with the staff. Being on tour is stressful enough. You're away from your family and friends, and one thing you're thankful for is your fans. Now, imagine fans completely disturbing your peace and quiet. In 2017, NCT 127 were in the USA with their Neo City World Tour. It was in Houston when some fans managed to get into their tour bus. They didn't even have to try hard. Apparently, after asking the driver of the bus, he just let them in. Seriously, some of these companies should invest more money for some loyal security. Getting inside and looking around wasn't enough for them, though. The fans kept touching the boys beds, giggling while doing that, and even had the guts to film themselves. Later, one of them posted the videos on Twitter, flexing that she even left a letter for one of the members on a pillow. I guess they thought people would be jealous, but of course that didn't happen. Everyone was outraged, and they had every right to be. I mean, what did she expect? No one in their right mind would ever think that was a good idea. Thankfully, management was alerted to the situation and did their job and called the police. Texting and calling. While some saucings are more extreme and disturb idols' personal space, some choose a less extreme way. The most common way to harass idols is by calling and sending them messages non-stop. Over the years, GOT7's Youngjae expressed his anger multiple times, but absolutely nothing worked. In 2018, he posted on his social media, Stop sending me cat talk messages, please. Stop. For five months, please, please stop. You can tell how frustrated he was about the situation, and it breaks my heart. Not much later, he made another post about it after Sasings kept selling his contact info and even revealing it on social media. This has been happening for years, not only to Young Jae but to other members as well. However, to this day, their agency JYP never took any action against them. Some of these stories were pretty intense, right? What do you think makes Sasangs act like this? Let me know in the comments. This was all for today, and until next time, bye!